Hey everybody, Rick Needham handicapping thoroughbred racing from North Pole Downs in Thule, Greenland on Sunday, December the 25th, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle race of the day. Let's take a look at race 8 at North Pole Downs, 2 a.m. Eastern Time. This is the Mistletoe Stakes, 5,600 kilometer steeplechase, four-year-olds and up. It's grade 1A event and the purse 1.7 times 10 to the 27th dollars. Well, the race will develop. I had some doubts I'll make the trip this year as travel eastward was, in my opinion, kind of sketchy at best. But since there are no terrorism reports from Greenland, somewhere between slim and none as the joke continues, slim has already left the house. I will indeed leave tonight for Greenland with my only protection being the fact that I did not did not announce this decision until now, keeping those fanatics away from my limo. Okay, it's a PT Cruiser on the way to Newark, New Jersey Airport to catch my flight. It is indeed snowing here in Greenland, but the landing strip has been cleared easily after all it's Christmas, as opposed to the holiday season. Well, folks, although the frigid temperatures here in my area of central Pennsylvania over the course of the last two days have not had any influence on the record snowfalls here at Tula Greenland as North Pole Downs host their annual feature, the Mistletoe Stakes. Weather is back to normal today, hovering around minus 14 this afternoon, which compared to last week's weather report that I was reading in the United States is about a 25 degree decrease in temperature. Despite the chilling breezes, the new snow is noted in my preamble. Attendance is up again this year. The folks are ready for action. Most of the field actually was entered last year and has expected the old broodmare, number three, Mrs. Claus, who is running on Lasix, will spring to the early lead. She's the early riser in the field. She'll be out of the gate early. Hope wants to press her male counterparts into submission. As they head to the 23rd kilometer pole, unfortunately her pace profile shows that she'll weaken from the early pace and the recently gelded number 7 Rudolph, known to the medical elite as the quadruped with a vermilion proboscis, showing the effects of the medical sword with a brilliantly glowing nose to complement his base skin suddenly will burst into the lead, being pursued closely by the paired entry of number 1 Prancer and number 1 A Dan Answer, who will stick to the lead for another 475 kilometers. But folks, you know, jockey Jesus Nazaretho is unbeaten on the giant horse number 7. Chris Kringle, a German bred, will take control, control of the situation at the 975 kilometer mark for another victory here at North Pole Downs. This is an unusual race, unlike others on the card today. Only win betting is allowed, so I have not formatted my usual contenders lease for the exotic players. Take this one to the bank, folks. Chris Kringle and an air walkover. It's been another painful year, especially in Iraq and Afghanistan. And by the way, whatever your religious affiliations are, enjoy the race. Enjoy the season. Merry Christmas and have a peaceful trip to the window.